Okay, so we have all of our items picked out. Um, this is all of the tools that we'll be using. We have our toothpick, um, a needle, our tweezers, we have our alcohol, um, our paper towels, our resin, and all of the um, little plants that we'll be using. Um, we have some little mushrooms here, pink oyster mushrooms, our um, pine cone, um, little pieces from the pine cone. We have a piece of the pine tree uh, stems, um, little pine, pine tree needles, um, various little things little pieces of plants that we've gathered up and we've chosen our mold and over here we have um, some rock I have some this was a, a rock that I've got that was all, all broken up it was a really nice one actually but we're going to be using it in our this was little pieces from it um, we're going to be using it in our, our mold, plus we have some Indiana stones, as usual we can use. And uh, we also have some more uh, twigs from our area that we can use in our, our project. So let's get started. We are going to start by putting some resin in the bottom of our mold here. We are going to put just a little bit in the bottom of this, this mold here that we chose. That's just a little bit on the bottom. That's not inside of our mold. And the reason for this is uh, we're going to coat the bottom of our our resin mold so that we don't have any of our rocks or anything. I'm just going to use a little bit um, poking through. And we're just going to move that around to coat the bottom of our mold. You just gotta have patience in this part. It takes a little bit for it to move around all this mold here. All right, now we're ready to um, we're ready to start. Our resin has been cured. I ran it up the sides and all around the bottom. Okay. So I picked out some pieces. Um, so we're going to just decide what ones we're going to lay in our piece. Um, uh, I realized what our stone was called. This particular stone was a condor agate. Um, now some of the problems that we have when we lay stones in is crystals. Um, some of our finer crystals that are really, really beautiful um, don't always show up um, like druzy, um, anything in a geode. I had problems with it showing up in resin. Um, so you want a darker, a darker crystal if you want it to show up. So like a white quartz will show up. So pick that if you're going to go with a crystal in um, resin. All right, so let's lay down um, some of our first things. What I like to lay down first and cover it is is our, our walnut. I like to pick out whatever um, walnut one I'm going to use in our piece. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna go with first. Yeah, 
It's just artistic, whichever one I think is going to look really pretty. Um, or what I, whatever I'm feeling in the mood for. It's really whatever you're in the mood for. Or how the piece is going to come together for you. And what you're going to do with it. One thing I've come to realize in these pieces is the more you put in, the better. Alright, now I'm going to put some little stones in. Uh, I, I want to put some little stones on the bottom. So I need some tinies. Some really, really tinies to fit in there. So I need to hunt through and find some super tinies that'll fit into that. So see how I got some white crystals in here? White quartz? That will be seen. That's, that's okay to use. So now it's just picking out whatever you want in your piece. And putting it in. Um, I think I'd like a piece of my condor in here. Now remember it's going to be seen from both sides so Whatever you choose to go in there is going to be seen from both sides, so. I'm choosing this piece of wood so that it will look like it's a piece of fallen, uh, fallen wood. Oh, it's too big. I'm looking for something tiny to go in there in that spot. I like my little moonstones. That'll go. All right. And I'm going to pour some resin in there. Now I'm going to turn the light off because less light is better when I'm pouring resin. I want this to set my rocks and stuff in place, so. Just a little bit in the bottom there, because that's all I'm doing is setting some things in place. Um, I don't need a lot in, I just want to kind of harden that area. So I'm just going to wait a minute and make sure I don't have any bubbles as it's starting to just kind of flatten out. It's one of the things that I have problems with is patience and waiting to see how things are going to lay down. So we will come back after this.